So we can, uh, the concept of characteristic function is useful to compute the moments. So first of all, if you recall the moment in general is, uh, these are the central moments x to the power k, k equal to 1 is the mean. Uh, this is by definition x to the power k density function of x uh, dx. Uh, so uh, you need the first order and second order moment to compute the variance. And so for example, variance of x is uh, expected value of x squared x minus mu the whole square, uh, but this if you expand you can show it to be expected value of x squared or minus expected value of x which is mu the whole square. So you can see the, so this is uh, if you want you can, in this above notation we can write it as uh, mu 2 minus mu 1 squared the whole. So these moments are important, but the computing moments directly uh, sometimes it uh, takes a lot of time. So this concept of characteristic function is useful. So let me define what the characteristic function is, then we could uh, do this for a few random variables. So characteristic function of a random variable is defined as expected value of e raised to j omega x. So this is where the random variable is. So this is like one function of a random variable, g of x. So expected value of g of x is uh, here, right? Expected value of g of x is uh, gx multiplied by the density function of x dx. Uh, just like here, expected value of x to the power k is the function multiplied by the density function. Uh, so, because the argument is, you call this to be y, this is y multiplied by fy dy, uh, but y is of course g of x, and fy we can write it in terms of fxx as fxx multiplied by 1 over dy by dx multiplied by dy. So dy cancels and the dx comes and you get this formula. So this is, using the same formula, this is e raised to j omega x fxx dx. So you just need to compute this for uh, various uh, density functions, which we will do in a minute. But let me show you the, uh, but uh, show you one useful application of this. So if I expand this e raised, so this is from in general minus infinity to plus infinity. And if I expand this e to the power j omega x term, uh, that's uh, 1 plus j omega x plus j squared omega squared x squared, uh, 2 factorial, right, et cetera, j to the power k omega to the power k x to the power k over k factorial, etc. It goes on multiplied by the density function of x dx. So this is just the expansion of e raised to j omega x. So notice the multi density function multiplies each term. So the first term will be a constant. Then you have j omega x multiplied by the density function. So that's going to be expected value of x plus the second term is j squared omega squared over 2 factorial x squared multiplied by the density function dx. So that's expected value of x squared plus etc. j to the power k omega to the power k over k factorial. Then integral x, uh, x to the power k fxx dx. Integral x to the power k fxx dx is expected value of xk. So this is expected value of xk plus etc. So the interesting thing is this function which is the characteristic function has all the moments embedded in it. So, so how do you how do you, you can compute the moments from the characteristic function because the answer is right here. So notice that, uh, first of all you notice that if you put the characteristic function omega equal to 0, 
you can see omega equal to 0, this is 1, that's just the area under the density function. So this is 1. Now if you take the derivative of this with respect to omega, you can see here, derivative is constant here. So the derivative with respect to omega is, this is all a constant, so just uh, 1 here. Uh, so if you start taking the derivative of uh, the characteristic function with respect to omega, you get j multiplied by ex. But if you look at the next term, it is going to be 2 omega, 2j squared omega over 2 factorial expected value of x squared. And in general from here, it will be k, j to the power k, omega to the power k minus 1, k factorial expected value of x to the power k. Now is an interesting thing, everywhere there is omega here, so if you put omega equal to 0 at this point, this goes away, all these terms goes away, except this. So we can extract the mean from here. So the mean is, you take the derivative once and plug in omega equal to 0. So you get expected value of x, and then you have a j here, so I take the j to the other side. Uh, so the derivative of uh, uh, the characteristic function evaluated at uh, uh, 0. You can also write this as uh, in this manner, at omega equal to 0. In other words, first do the derivative and then plug in omega equal to 0. Now notice that uh, what happens if you uh, take the derivative one more time here. If you take a second derivative, this comes d squared uh, d omega squared of this. So this is a constant goes away. The, this is just omega, so the derivative is this constant, but this 2 and 2 cancels. So you get j squared, expected value of x squared. Here this k cancels, you get k minus 1 factorial. And the next term is going to be, of course, uh, it's a... Uh, omega multiplied by x cubed, I think, over 2 factorial, uh, previously, so, uh, plus etc. We need to take the derivative of this one more time. So you have now k multiplied by k minus 1. Again, k minus 1 cancels. So you have j to the power k, omega to the power k minus 2 now, e to the power xk, over k minus 2 factorial, etc. Because k cancelled, k, k minus 1 would cancel, so you would get k minus 2. Once again, the same stunt. If you put omega equal to 0, all these terms vanish, you get the second moment. So the second moment is going to be 1 over j squared, the second derivative of the characteristic function. And then you substitute omega equal to 0. So if you are not confused, you can also write this as uh, phi x uh, 0, double prime. This is the second derivative. But we need to do the derivative first and then plug in omega equal to 0. You can see, you can continue this. If you take the derivative k times, this will turn out to be a constant. And uh, then if you substitute omega equal to 0, all the other terms will vanish. So if you take the derivative of this characteristic function, uh, k times and divide by 1 over j to the power k, you bring that there, then you can extract this by substituting omega equal to 0, you get expected value of x to the power k. So this is a useful formula to find all the moments for k equal to 1, 2, 3, etc. So I'll use this to derive the mean and variance of few random variables. All right, so let me illustrate the characteristic function usefulness uh, to compute the moments uh, through few random variables. So we'll start with the Poisson random variables. So what we mean is probability of x equal to k is e raised to minus lambda, lambda k over k factorial k equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. So let's find the characteristic function first. So characteristic function is expected value of e raised to j omega x. 
So this would be, uh, so the function multiplied by which is e raised to j omega k uh, probability of x equal to k, right? k goes from 0 through infinity from here. So if I plug this in, this is summation e raised to j k omega k goes from 0 through infinity e raised to minus lambda lambda k over k factorial. Uh, so re rewriting it here, characteristic function of x is e raised to minus lambda goes outside. Then the rest seems to be lambda e raised to uh, j k j omega whole thing to the power k over k factorial k goes from 0 through infinity. Notice this is of the form something z to the power k over k factorial. So this is the expansion of e raised to z. In other words, the characteristic function turns out to be, this is the characteristic function of uh, Poisson random variable. Now we can use this formula to find its mean. So we take the derivative of this with respect to omega first once. Uh, so the derivative is going to be, so notice I can, uh, so th this if you want I'm going to combine the, uh, this together. So this is e raised to minus lambda 1 minus e raised to j omega. It's uh, combining the two. Previously we had e raised to minus lambda multiplied by e raised to plus lambda j omega. So remember the, uh, the derivative of e to the power is itself. So e raised to minus lambda 1 minus e raised to minus j omega. Then multiplied by the derivative of this with respect to omega. Uh, so that's going to be multiplied by lambda from here. Remember this is a constant. So minus minus plus lambda. Then the derivative of this which is minus uh, uh, this is plus here. So that's going to be plus j e raised to j omega. This is the derivative. So now we put omega equal to 0. Omega equal to 0, this is 1. 1 minus 0. e raised to 0 is 1. So phi x sub prime omega at omega equal to 0. So this is 1, this is lambda, this is j. Uh, this is omega equal to 0, this is 1. So the answer is j lambda. So to get the first moment, we divide by j. So we divide by j. So that j, j cancels. So you get lambda to be the first moment. So that's the mean of the Poisson random variable. So if you want to compute the variance, we need the second moment. So let me just do that quickly here. We already have the first moment. So all we need to do is the, take the derivative of this, uh, this function. The second derivative, first derivative is already here. Uh, so this is, uh, I'll re rewrite it here. So we have the first derivative to be lambda e raised to j omega and e raised to minus lambda 1 minus e raised to j omega. So we can do this by parts, the second derivative. Remember the derivative is with respect to omega. So lambda is a constant. So first the derivative of this, which is just uh, <coughs> oh, multiplied by a j, there is a j here. So j, j lambda is a constant. Then the derivative of this, which is just uh, j e raised to j omega. Then the second function as it is. Then the second function stays the same. first function stays the same e raised to j omega derivative of this which we already have it here so I'm just going to copy from here so the derivative is going to be j lambda e raised to j lambda e to the power uh, minus lambda or you can do it one more time. Now you substitute uh, omega equal to 0 at this stage. So you need to do this correct. So you have j lambda here. Here you have a j here, you have a j. So this becomes j squared outside. 
and this is 1, this is 1. When you put omega equal to 0, this is 1, 1 minus 1, 0. So e to the power 0 is 1. Uh, omega equal to 0, this is 1. So this is simply 1 plus. This is 1 here, this is 1. This we just went through this. Put omega equal to 0, 1 minus 1, 0, 1 plus lambda. So expected value of x squared is 1 over j squared multiplied by the second derivative of the characteristic function you put omega equal to 0 omega equal to 0 which we have here so j squared cancels so this turns out to be uh, lambda uh, lambda multiplied by 1 plus lambda which is lambda plus lambda squared so that being the case, we can now derive the variance. Uh, so this gives us the variance of the Poisson random variable to be expected value of x squared minus uh, its uh, mean squared, which is here, the mean of x is here, minus mu x squared. But the expected value of x squared is lambda plus lambda squared, so lambda plus lambda squared minus the mean is lambda, so that's lambda squared, so this turns out to be lambda. So interestingly for Poisson, the mean and variance are numerically the same. Mean is lambda, variance is lambda. Lambda is of course positive, so everything checks. Let's look at uh, another example, which let's say x is binomial. Uh, with the mean, uh, with the two parameters n and p. This means probability of x equal to k is uh, n choose k uh, p k q to the power n minus k k equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 up to n. So let's find the mean and variance using the characteristic function. So first of all, characteristic function is expected value of e raised to j omega x, this is summation e raised to j omega k, probability of x equal to k, k goes from 0 through n. So if I substitute for uh, uh, probability of x equal to k here, this reads now n choose k, I have p to the power k, e to the power j omega k, so I can write it together as uh, in this fashion. So let's see what I have done. N choose k from here. I have p to the power k. I have e raised to j omega k. E raised to j omega k. And q to the power n minus k. So everything is, look for. Now if you call this to be a and q to be b, this is the expansion of a plus b to the power n. N choose k, a to the power k, b to the power in other words, this whole thing can be written as where a is p e raised to j omega uh, plus q. You just have to identify this as binomial expansion. That's why we call this random variable to be binomial also. Right? So this is the characteristic function of uh, e raised to j omega k. Uh, this is the characteristic function of binomial random variable. So now we can, once we have the characteristic function, we can find its first derivative and the second derivative. Remember, derivative is with respect to omega. So this is n multiplied by p e raised to j omega plus q to the power n minus 1 multiplied by the derivative of this, which is j p e raised to j omega and j. So now we put, uh, if you put, uh, so this derivative here, if you put, uh, so this is d phi omega over d omega. If you put uh, omega equal to zero, notice that, so you have j n p, n is here, p is here, j is here. Your omega equal to zero, this is one. Omega equal to zero, this is one. p plus q is one. So 1 to the power, so you get this answer. So if you divide this by j, j goes away and that's going to be np and that's your mean by definition.
So we got the mean. So let's, to find the second moment, we take the derivative of this one more time. d squared d phi omega over d omega squared. First of all, let's the constants are j n p is a constant. Then you have two terms, so let's just do it by parts. So this is first part is n minus one p e raised to j omega plus q to the power n minus two multiplied by the derivative of this, which is p j e raised to j omega plus the first part stays the same and multiplied by the derivative of this quantity, which is simply j e raised to j omega. All right, now we can substitute omega equal to zero. So when we evaluate the second derivative at uh, omega equal to zero, notice that uh, there is a j here, there is a j here. So j squared goes outside. Then you have uh, j squared np is here. Here you have n minus one, this is one because omega equal to zero p plus q, so this is one, this is one, this is one, this is one. So from here you have one, here you have p, n minus one p. Plus one I guess which if you want we can write as j squared np multiplied by np plus here you have np minus p but 1 minus p is q so I am going to write it this way. So you can clearly see when I divide by j squared I, I just this j squared goes away so this must be uh, so this is already of the form np squared. Uh, plus npq. So this is the second moment of the binomial characteristic function. So variance of x would be the second moment minus the mean squared. So that's going to be, uh, so if you, from here if you subtract the mean squared, it's simply going to be npq. So that will be the answer. So the, the variance is NPQ and the mean is uh, NP.